What is up, party people? What is up, YouTube? Friends, family, all that kind of good stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of The Climb. This is officially episode three. Three of The Climb. I think it's three. It could be four. I think it's three. Uh, last week was Alan Wake number one, which scared the shit out of me. I played all of about 15 minutes and I haven't gone back um, as I was petrified. I was literally like a little girl being robbed by a giant monster. It was horrific. Which is why this week, game number three, is Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Yay! Hopefully this will be equally as scary and scare the shit out of me as well. I hate these games. I still hate these games. I don't want to play this game, but it is part of my Steam library. So thank you, Steam, for having that Alan Wake package for like 47p about three years ago and ruining my life. So, that said, without further ado, let us jump in to the story mode. Although it looks like it's pretty quiet. Let me just work on the audio. Audio, no, 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 music. That's better. All right, I think it was fine as it was. Okay, headphones, turn them up. As you can see, a very professional setup here, very professional. Now I can hear it. Yes! All right, escape, let's crack on. Let's ditch how to play. I've got a vague idea, played for like five minutes, right? Story mode, new story, nightmare. No, don't be silly, normal. Dark sky, flashing light. Um, so, if you don't know the story of the first one, nor do I. I think, I don't know. <laughs> YouTube it, Google it, whatever. I don't want to spoil it. I've got a vague idea of what's happening. I think this is like some sort of dream worldy place. So, just watch this. There's Barry Wheeler. Great guy, Barry Wheeler. Did my tires the other week. Really, really good. As far as tire mechanics go, he's pretty good. Um, although, he tends to sleep on the job a lot, which is slightly awkward. This is kind of weird. Night Springs. <laughs> Such a bad name for somewhere. Night Springs. It's dark. It's evil. There's a man walking along. Alan Wake. I'm Alan Wake. On TV. I'm guessing this is going to kind of tell you what happened in the first one. So, if you don't want to know that, watch my other videos instead. He is chasing a dangerous I am chasing the Herald of Darkness, motherfucker. <laughs> and that's the bottom line, because Alan Wake said so. No, only is Mr. Scratch. <laughs> He's such a bad, bad guy. Mr. Scratch. <laughs> I'll catch you eventually. Maybe. But what are you going to do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on every. I'm Mr. Scratch. I'm an angry, evil man who can blow shit up. You're a reporter, a journalist, or whatever, a writer wearing a checkered plaid shirt. That's how much of a baller I am. I wear plaid. I'm basically a lumberjack. I am a crime solving, monster killing lumberjack. But at least this isn't very scary yet. This hasn't scared me. The last one genuinely creeped the hell out of me. I'm probably going to regret saying that. But the last one, literally, you hit the hitchhiker, and out of nowhere, he's jumping around, it's going horribly wrong. This seems more action-y. I can deal with action. I can deal with, like, weird-looking ghouls and shit. I'm just not very good with spooky things, which is why I didn't buy that Aliens game, that new Aliens game, so I, I would not be able to play that. Alright, so here we go. Alan Wake's American Adventure! America! Alan Wake in America! This game's gonna be good, because it's set in America! America! All right, let's crack on. So let's run forward. What do we have over here? Pick up the flashlight. Okay. Weird things flying towards me. Also, new chair. Check out the new chair. So new. It's got it's flame retardant on there. It is flame resistant. Check that bad boy out. So that's not very scary. This is okay. I am less scared. And slightly bored now. Check. Destroy the darkness with the flashlight! If only life were that simple. Like you could kill bad people with flashlights. Ah, oh, darkness, flashlight. Dissolve the shit, dissolve the shit, watch it burn away. Alright, let's keep on going down here. Driver's Isle. A place where drivers live on an aisle. What's down here? Nothing at all. Random cactus, because that's spooky. Everyone knows the most spooky plant. Cactus. Whoa, pricky little bastard. Run into it. Ah, it hurts. <laughs> what? what noise was that? Ah, it hurts. Ah, my face. Oh, okay. Ah, my face. Whoa, look at that collision. Best game. 
got myself a gun as well. This has gone well. Probably a bad guy appearing here. Who looks very similar to the Hitchhiker. Yep, you keep running at me, son. And then I'm going to shoot him in the head. See? I'm not scared at all now. He's used to this kind of stuff. I know I just do this and I shoot him a few times. And that's the end of it. This is nowhere near as spooky as previously. I'm probably going to regret all of this and at some point I'm literally going to poo my panties. Not that I'm wearing panties, I'm wearing very manly boxers, thank you very much. I will show you, but I'd probably get banned from YouTube and no one wants to see that. Given that I've only got four viewers, one of which is my mum, she doesn't want to see that. She's seen it all before. She's seen it all before when she was cleaning my bum. Just yesterday she was cleaning my bum. Ideas. Yeah, apparently so. This is all in my head, and I am mental, but because it's all in my head, I can write stuff to create new stuff. Like this. Pick up manuscript. Manuscript pages provide insight to the story. Uh, weapon cases. You can read them. I can't read. No point. So I think because some of the mystique's gone, I'm not as scared. Although I'm sure... <laughs> look, seeing a guy called Mr. Scratch, who was like a, a better looking version of myself, wasn't that scary. It was just a guy in a good suit rather than a plaid shirt. Not that scary, to be fair. It's basically like his worst enemy is taste. Taste in clothing. Well, this is all the rage in America. Bit of play shirt and some jeans. That makes it an American adventure. Look at that leap, like a long jumper. Hey oh, oh. The motel, motel lights. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. All right, head towards the motel. Explore that. All right, I will. Walk into a cactus, sure. Bad guy's probably gonna spawn, but oh, okay. Yeah, just even this guy's voice isn't particularly scary. No, his evil double and his good suit and some angry farmers and angry policemen with some scythes and shit. Just isn't as scary. I'm probably going to run though, because I don't think I can kill all of those. So I'm just going to give it some mad beans. Sometimes running away is always the best option. <laughs> when is it not the best option? Everyone knows that running away will always save the day. He's now a lot fitter than he was. In the first game, he was like a fat bastard who couldn't run. Look at him go now. Uh, oh god, oh god, fail! That's a fail! I wonder if this helps. Is, is this is light. Run away! Yeah, see, I'm not very scared right now. I know there's things probably behind me that are closer than I'd like, but it's not doing it for me. Yeah, it's a havens. Okay. Am I at the motel? No. I am now, though. There's stuff flashing over there. Okay. Whoa, okay, now I'm being retarded. Now I'm slightly concerned. Whoa, what the hell is that? Weapons crate? Yes. Well, I can't open it yet. Alright, so I'm running over here. To speak to this hot lady. Hey, yo! I love how she's just casually doing mechanical shit whilst I'm being chased by ghouls. I don't remember you. I have no idea who you are. Did I pay for you last night? I, I probably did. Do I owe you money? I mean, I can't remember. I was high on drugs at the time. I was very, very drunk. And you said you'd be reasonably priced and that you'd put out a lot more than you did. You were like, look, just for $10, I will be yours. I will do whatever you want. I gave you 20 and you didn't really put out. I mean, I wanted a little bit of bum fun. You or me, that is. I mean, I, I didn't want to go near your bum. I wanted you to go near mine. And, and you wouldn't do it. So I gave you $30. Next thing I knew, I passed out. I was being attacked by clowns and creepy guys. And it was just rubbish all around. They're dangerous. Stay out of the way. They're, they're dangerous monsters. The light is your friend. I mean, this is... It's not doing it for me. I am already bored. I'm sure it's an excellent game, but it just doesn't give me that oomph like the first one did. The first one genuinely scared the crap out of me. Whereas this one, um, yeah, it's just like me running around. I've, I'm seeing a car from Greece. It's high dramatic. It's systematic. This car um, could probably be Grease Lightning. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I think I'm, I'm probably done. I was like, this game is boring me, but I can tick it off the list of the climb. Yes. Recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his 
So I think if you probably paid or played even the whole of the first game and understand what's going on, this would be less retarded. Um, but because I haven't, this now makes very little sense to me and just seems generically average. Oh, although let's run towards the question mark. Like, like question marks, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, this just feels like more like an open sort of world kind of a game now. And that shit's going to appear, I'm probably going to kill it, and that's going to be the end of it. Oh, hell. This isn't going to be good. Is this all Let's watch this, and then we're done. Do you tell? It's just me being evil to someone. Sorry, it's not a gadget, it's a TV, you tard. Oh, this game's like five years old, but you should, even, you should know that. Oh, he's turning it around. So is he in the real world? I'm guessing he could be. That's kind of cool if he is. That's quite a cool concept if he is in the real world. I like it quiet. And I'm not. But I don't know. So I think this is kind of my fault. This could be a great story if I had just bothered to play the first game fully and answer what was going on. I, bet you're wondering why this is happening. Why am I, doing all I want to see this. Why are you ruining my life? I do want to know this, and you're going to find out as well. This is fair. If I had money, fame, and style, I would probably bag random men and leave me in my bedroom. Or not. Alright, come on now. I shouldn't have watched this, as now I'm even more bored than I was. Please just kill him. Just, just, just do something, please. This is killing me. And anyone else who's still watching this is bored as well. Yeah, okay. Thanks for that. Well, they're real actors. They have, like, genuine bona fide actors doing this. He's gonna kill him. That was completely pointless. Thanks for that. So quiet. So basically there's some guy's random acting career that he's trying to get off the ground and fail to do miserably. So taking a roll on Alan Wake. As I say before I watch that incredibly boring video, I am out. Alan Wake, no more. No more scary games for me. In your face, scary games. I think that's pretty much it, scary game was in my library. Although I'm probably wrong, and at some point I'm going to get shit scared of some really scary game. Um, like that tall, lanky man dude that I can't remember the name of. Or generically other scary games I bought by mistake. But thank you all for watching, those who stuck around to watch this video. Thank you so, so much. It's always an absolute pleasure speaking to you wonderful people of the internet. Um, to my mum, my sister, and my girlfriend who watch these videos, thank you to all the guys at work I've made subscribe to watch these videos. Thank you so much. <laughs> If you do like them, tell your friends, like the videos, leave a comment, any feedback's welcome, as long as it's happy feedback. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace up, A-Town Down. Goodbye, YouTube.